nice restaurant comes in handy whether you are looking for a nice evening with friends or a perfect setting for a power lunch. For the foodies seeking gastronomical delights, a restaurant is an experience to treasure. Hargusa is developing an impressive repertoire of tastes to cater to its cosmopolitan population. In this show at CBA, we will guide you through what to eat and wear in Hargeisa. Today, our destination is a recently opened ethnic restaurant. It is located in Jigjigayar and the name is the Ethiopian restaurant. A bit self-aggrandizing if you ask me as there are other Ethiopian restaurants around. This restaurant has been in the making for the past year but opened only two months ago. It serves exclusively Ethiopian food, which means coffee, injera, spices and toppings for both vegetarians and carnivores. Come with us as we explore Ethiopian culture and tradition through food. So here it is. All it is magnificent. It's lovely. Yeah. I'm already interested. Like, I just love it. Is that bamboo sticks? Looks like bamboo. So I think like... But I don't think it is bamboo. I think what it is... Think it is? I think it is sugar cane. Sugar cane. Oh yeah, let's get in. The restaurant is spacious and is decorated with extraordinary art that represents Ethiopian history and culture. One of the building's distinctive features is the use of different materials such as bamboo, grass, rope and natural fiber. On the interior walls is canvas art, beautiful paintings, traditional colorful textiles, traditional crafts, woven decorations and wall hangings and so much more. The wooden chairs and tables are also a wonderful representation of art. In case you have an event such as a wedding or a party, this is the perfect place to hold such an event, especially at their private VIP section. The restaurant also has the coffee ceremony area, which is an excellent example of Ethiopian hospitality. Well, guys, we're here at the Ethiopian restaurant. We are here to show you some of the amazing places so you can have amazing food right here in Hagaisa, Somaliland. And this is one of the beautiful places that you can have some nice sanjera, some nice coffee, and you get that Ethiopian feeling. It's so artistic. You just love the place when you come here. Everybody needs to come and see this place. Like, I'm already excited myself. Are you excited, Abdullah? I'm totally psyched about this place. And this is our new program which is all about what to eat and where you eat here in Ergesa, Somalia. And we are starting out with this Ethiopian restaurant here at Chichigaya. And I'm really excited about this place. What are you looking for? I'm looking forward to the coffee ceremony uh -huh. and to have some delicious Ethiopian anchera. Mm -hmm. For me, I'm also looking forward to see how the coffee is actually brewed. You know, they have this uh, very unique way of brewing the coffee. You get to taste it, it's so natural. Like, that's what I'm looking uh, with for. With popcorn, uh, with the frankincense, is also in the place. Yeah, and also. They have this kind of uh, hospitality, like they're so kind, they're so welcoming. Yeah. Ethiopians are known to be good at their food and at hosting people, you know. And we're gonna see all that right here at the Ethiopian restaurant located here at Chichikaya. <laughs> Hey, 
So what type of coffee do you have? Uh, there is the uh, original Ethiopian coffee, uh -huh. but it's a two type. This one with the uh, milk, without the original, no coffee. So what do you want? Well, I will have Chebena. Ah, okay. What's Chebena? Well, it's black coffee. It's Chebena. It's, it's a made of uh, prepared coffee. Okay. It's one of the material. But Chebena Puna. It's called Chebena Puna. Chebena Puna. Yes. Chebena. Uh, uh -huh. I also want the Puna. So we yes. want to Chebena Puna. Yeah, we'll have that. Okay. That includes popcorn, right? Yes, everything we bring in the ceremony. The ceremony? Yeah. Wow. So, can I give you now? Yeah, please do. Okay. The coffee is said to have originated in Ethiopia. Ethiopian coffee ceremonies are common at restaurants. Usually, women will throw beans in front of the guests. They will grind the beans and brew them in a clay coffee pot. The coffee then is served in a small cabbage called sini. All this happens while the frankincense with the roasted beans is burned, giving the room some heavenly aroma. Very well decorated. Yeah. You love the smell? Yeah, definitely. I'll see there. Yeah. Makes you, you know, like the Ethiopia. I think the popcorn is kind of consolation, so we you are waiting for this delicious tasty coffee. Mm. Can you see how they serve mm. the coffee? Like, it's really mm. Thank you. You take yours without sugar? I bet this is the one of the places you'll find original coffee in Adis, huh? The taste is really good. Very smooth. Very smooth and it's very sweet. Yeah, it's very rich coffee. Yeah, also I like the coffee, coffee I know. Yeah. And the way they serve it, I love it. I love um this uh, it's like a kettle or something. I love everything about it. An added bonus was that the manager joined us half to our coffee. His name is Amera Mangesha and he's from Oromia region where the most sought after coffee beans are grown. Like the master coffee maker he is, he took us through the Ethiopian coffee experience. So how is the coffee? Very nice. I do love it. Oh yeah. A little bit of it. Okay. I love it. Like First of all, I love the way you serve it. Oh, yeah? The service is so perfect. Okay. I love the cutlery. Yeah. I don't know why you guys choose to use cups without handles. Yeah. yeah. We have that one also, but as in Ethiopia, as a traditional, mostly we use this one. It's just like traditional cup for the kopi. Yeah. It's known as sin in Amharic. Mm -hmm. So that's why we use it here. But if you need, that's also we have the one with the handles. Handle. Yeah. yeah. So and what do you call this? So this is in Amharic it's known as Etan Machesha. It's like for smoking, the smoking that have like good sense or not. It's known as Etan. So this is a material that you put fire on it and after that there is a some special yeah, you can put that thing. And this is known as Javana. Javana means just like a traditional pot that is used to make coffee. 
So most of the time when you go to Ethiopia, coffee can be served by this. It's known as Jabana. Is it made of clay? Yeah, it's made of clay. It's totally made of clay. And also for the cup, we have two types of cup. But mostly traditionally we use this cup without like the handle. Because it's known as Sini by the way. In Amharic, Sini means yes, yeah, like a cup that you do to drink coffee only for coffee, not for the other thing. So if you need like tea or some other thing, we have another different type of cups. It's only for the coffee. It's known as uh, Sini in Amharic. Uh, and this is known as uh, it's popcorn in Amharic. It's known as fandisha. It's just like appetizer, like for the coffee. When you when someone serves for you coffee, it keeps with like breakfast. Mostly it's just like taking as a breakfast or like as appetizer. It's known as fandisha. In Somali, it's known as solol. So this is one of thing that you get on the coffee ceremony. Okay. So and uh, when you go to Ethiopia, in terms of coffee making, there is three uh, cups of coffee that you take. You must take three cups of coffee in one place. Mm -hmm. The first cup is known as abol, that means first. Yeah. The second cup is known as uh, tona, mm -hmm. that means second. The last one is known as baraka. Mm -hmm. third, yeah, baraka. So like blessing. Yeah, blessing, just like blessing in the third one. Mm -hmm. yeah, so so that, I think I have to take my Yeah, <laughs> yes, you can take care. So tell me about uh, what inspired you to start this restaurant? Like once you get in here, you see so much of art. Yeah. You give us that Ethiopian feeling. So yeah. tell us your journey. Okay, yeah. Since we are neighbor to Somaliland, yeah, most of people are just well know Ethiopian foods. And also, we have seen that there is a lot of customers that need Ethiopian foods because of that we open one restaurant around Shebi Hotel, uh, around Safari Road. So, we do a lot of things there. So, after that, we get a lot of customers. Now, we need to expand that market. So, we start to build this building last year. Then, we was opening, uh, there was opening ceremony last before, like two months ago. So now this is the second month for the restaurant, and now we have a lot of customer. Mm -hmm. So how's the reception? How is the reaction of the people when they come in here? They're see all so these happy. Things? They are so happy, you know, especially because you don't get this type of traditional house here in Somaliland. Even if you take this part, I mean, if you take this restaurant in Ethiopia, it's also so big and traditional. So it's typical Ethiopian restaurant, including the food, the materials, all of even the for the building of the material, we bring everything from Ethiopia. The idea of the decor, what were you aiming at achieving when you were trying to decorate the place? Yeah, the aim is, it's, the first our aim is it's all about satisfying our customer. Uh, so they need to get like pure Ethiopian traditional food. So that's one of our issues. The second thing is, uh, we need to open a lot of branches here in Somalia because we have a lot of just uh, Somalilanders who want to eat these Ethiopian foods. So that's why we open uh, as a plan. We have uh, we plan to open like in different cities, not even in Argesa only. Inshallah, maybe in Berbera, Buro, Borama, and so on. That's our plan. So, because we have a lot of customers, and there is a lot of demand here, that's why. We open this restaurant, then no. we are getting a lot of customers again. And the materials of the restaurant, like the chairs and the desks, the tables, where do you get them? It's directly from Ethiopia. There is a place for which is known as Jimma and uh, Nadrit Adama. Mm -hmm. So that place is like well known by woodworks. Yeah. So most of material, especially these woods, came from, I mean, this church came from Nadrit. Mm -hmm. Half of the materials, including this, is from Jimma. Jimma is like a place which is located around Orom region in Ethiopia so it's typical local from Ethiopia everything is from Ethiopia okay. so other than this amazing coffee uh, yeah. what else is on your menu like if I want to eat here yeah. what can I have here we have a lot of like different dishes so most of time Ethiopian foods are like spices so yeah we have around more than like 50 uh, yeah 15 different types of foods so you can get if you want like if you are like vegetarian you have like totally vegetarian vegetarian, vegetarian. Uh, if you need like uh, meat things you can get everything like fried meat uh, we have specially for example most of people especially small under likes a food which is known as cocktail cocktail means just like a lot of mixing uh, foods so it includes everything that's if you want like chicken, we have chicken. If you need like meat, we have different types of meat, different types of vegetable, and everything. So, so that's the topping. 
Yeah. So, but the basic decision is Jara, right? The basic decision is Jara, yeah. Ah. When you go to Ethiopia, the basic in the likes is just like traditional food, it's yeah, Jara. So, Jara yeah. is the basic, then you have the toppings which can yeah. vary up to 15 dishes. Yeah, up to 15 different types of dishes by Injara. So, Commonly, they have injera. On that injera, we have different types of sauce. So, if you need also extra, we have bread also. Bread. Yeah, it's up to you. It depends up to you. But by default, it's injera. Injera, the sourdough flat bread, is the basis of all Ethiopian food. Tobingis may change, but injera is always there. It is made of national treasure grain called teff. The teff is the smallest grain in the world and indigenous to Ethiopia. The country is zealous in keeping it as a national treasure. It is even illegal to export it to the rest of the world. The injera is sourdough, meaning it's made of fermenting the dough naturally or with yeast. That usually gives the bread a quite sour taste and a spongy feeling. If the fermentation is overdone, the sourness can be of Putin. But not here at this restaurant. Yes, of yeah, course. Yeah. Everybody loves yeah. Ethiopian food. Yeah. And uh, other than the food, do you have any other services? Like if I have a birthday party? Yeah. Birthday? Still, we are doing that thing, especially for wedding and birthday. We are special for the wedding. This uh, hall is enough. And for birthday or any special uh, occasions, we have VIP room there in that building. So yeah, we are open for that things also. As uh, a chance next week, you have one wedding. So. So, yeah, we are ready for wedding. For any occasions, we can rent this hall. Mm -hmm. Also, as a VIP for small pupils, we have one building there. So that's our service. We have food service. Also, we have delivery, uh, a home delivery service. We have around, yeah, we have around three cars now. So. We have websites also, we have Facebook page also, we have phone address. So when customer customers need to get like home delivery, we have car. It's so all about service fee, we bring the food to their house. Wow, that's nice. Yeah. So what time is this, the restaurant open? In the morning, it will be open around 9 o'clock in the morning, up to uh, 11 in the evening. So, yeah, mostly it's lunch and dinner. So, we again, always will open the restaurant around 9 o'clock in the morning. From 9 up to uh, 1 o'clock, it's all about coffee. Mostly our customer needs coffee because they will take their breakfast in the house. But for the coffee, we'll serve coffee. But starting for from uh, one up to uh, like three up to, uh, sometimes up to four. It's all about lunch, it's foods and also coffee at the same time. After that, uh, starting from like three up to evening, up to like maybe eight, it's only again coffee. Yeah. But we have the service, but the customer needs only coffee. After eight, it's dinner. So mostly it's not, if you need also at 9 o'clock you can take breakfast, the food is already ready. Mm -hmm. But it's lunch and dinner most of the time. And the chef is and the waiter is all the stuff comes from Ethiopia also? All of them are from Ethiopia. Chef, because it's traditional food, yeah. since it's traditional we need to make it like typical food. So the chef must be Ethiopian. So the chef, the workers, I mean like waiters, everything is from and Ethiopia. And the who makes the coffee? Yeah, and she's also from Ethiopia. But the thing is, they know well in Somali language. They know Somali language. So it's easy for... While we are enjoying the strong Ethiopian coffee served at the cute little pot, our food is being prepared. Right after finishing our coffee, the food is on the table. To be honest, it's beyond our expectation. We signed up for a midday meal, that is lunch, but what we found before our eyes is a feast, probably the whole menu. We 
need to be initiated in the art of Ethiopian cuisine. Luckily, the manager came to our rescue. So this is our lunch for the lunch. It's mostly this one, especially this one is the best and favorite dish for uh, the hotel, like yeah. the special food of the hotel. It's known as Mahabarawi. Mm -hmm. So you can get every different type of stuff that's located in the restaurant. Mm -hmm. So it has like meat, also vegetable, including like uh, different types. Yeah, also, chicken. yeah, you can get also chicken, like uh, potato, like also fish. You can get kalun or fish, like yeah. yeah. And also we have different types of vegetable. It has everything. Mm -hmm. This is known as Mahabarawi. Uh, it's a food that includes everything. That means you can get every sauce that's located in the restaurant here in this dish. It's known as Mabarawi. It has like chicken. We have different types of foods, also vegetables. For example, here we have potato, we have chicken, we have lentil. Also here we have what the name, uh, it's known as in Amharic, it's known as Aib. Uh, it's made up like it's, uh, from the cow and uh, here we have like different types of meats and the vegetables and also if you need you can get this by anjaro by default sometimes it comes with bread and uh, this is known as uh, bozana bozana means the, the sauce which is known as shro i think it's also known here in somali they know like they say that it's shro the, the same as uh, in Ethiopia, they are, we have the same different we have the same types of sauce. It's known as shro. When you put like meat in that shro, it's known as bozana. bozana. Yeah, and uh, this bozana comes with the fire, so it's all like until you finish this, it's like boiled already. And this is known as uh, uh, special tips. It's fried meat, fried meat. Uh, so in this fried meat also we have fire here because it's much tasty when there is, it's hot. So it's like a hilly warm meat, including like different types of uh, vegetables. And also we have uh, fish. Uh, that one is known as special salad. In special salad also it's all about salad, including different types of fruit. Also we add different fruits like banana, sometimes apple, and also it has different types of vegetables. And it's served also with anjero and also with bread. And that is the sauce. With every food near, you can get that, so it's just like appetizer. And uh, this one is known as meat mita. Just like so spicy, spice powder. So it's so hot, so hot. And it's known as meat mita. Uh, most of Somali under like these things. Yeah, yeah it's known as swas. Yeah. Spasase. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, this is uh, these are our foods. Also, we have different types of dish. So for you, I'll just choose for you this one. So enjoy. Thank I, you, thank you, The abundance, man. This was like <laughs> otherworldly. We, we couldn't, you know, finish it ourselves. So we have to bring all the team with us so they can dig in. So out of ten, yeah. how would you rate the Ethiopian restaurant? Okay, this restaurant, I will say solid nine. I will say ten out of ten. I think I would even say eleven out of ten. <laughs> it was just the best experience ever. I love the music. I love the coffee. The reception was amazing. Yeah. Yes, people are so hospitable and so kind. So for I will say nine, solid nine actually. Mm -hmm. And that's because you know ten out of ten you cannot have it in this world. So <laughs> yeah, that's nine. The best you, that can be achieved. I think we chose a good place to come. And I will tell anybody anywhere to try this. Actually I will recommend it profusely. Well, 
We've come to the end of today's show. We've had a wonderful meal. I'm so full. And other than being full, I'm happy because the feeling was great. Are you happy? I'm so happy. I cannot if I'm bullet in words. is how happy I am. Well, that's the end of today's show. Keep watching. This is just the first episode. A lot more is coming. A lot more is coming. And another good places to eat and good things to eat and experiment. Always be bold. Try new things always. This was a good experience. Yes. So, whatever you are, whatever part of the world, when you come to the place, make sure you visit the Indofen restaurant. You will love it. I assure you, you will love the food, you will love the feeling, you will love the experience. From us here at CBACB, my name is Gongwe. I'm Abdullah Hassan, and on behalf of all the production team, thank you. Thank you.